I made a full Cambridge style guest paper for Probability and Statistics 2 for October November 2024 and it also comes with a Cambridge style marking scheme and I also have a few predictions of the questions that I think could come up in this October series. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe and let's get into it. If you haven't watched my prediction videos for Pure 1, Stats 1, Pure 3, make sure to check those out. Otherwise, let's look at Stats 2. Compared to the other components, Stats 2 doesn't have as much depth, so most of the concepts have a strong chance of coming up in the October series. Looking at the first topic, the Poisson distribution, I've split it into three questions. You've got your general Poisson probabilities, the Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution, and the normal approximation to the Poisson distribution. All three of these questions are pretty common and show up in almost every paper, so make sure that you're comfortable with all of them and you should also know the conditions for when to use what approximation. In my guest paper I've gone for the Poisson probabilities and the normal approximation question. You can get the guest paper on my website, the link to that is in the description. But I still think that there's a pretty good chance that we get the Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution question as well. Moving on to linear combinations of random variables, you can't really split this topic. It has one main question which is a two-part question that mixes the concepts of multiples and independent observations of the same random variables i.e. a sum and that's the main pain point for students. They struggle to differentiate between the two. So make sure you know the difference. Occasionally Cambridge might spice it up but expect the two-part question. It seems under the continuous random variables topic Cambridge has been moving towards this question whether you want you to find the probabilities of the PDF in terms of a variable like P or A. So I think that has a pretty good chance of coming up. The median question comes up once or twice every year and we've already seen it in the June series this year so I don't think it comes up in October. The mean and variance question on the other end is quite popular. It has shown up in every paper this year so I think it's likely to show up in the October series as as well. So in this topic just look out for those PDF questions with variables and polish up on your mean and variance. Sampling and estimation splits into four. We have the theoretical question for random sampling which rarely comes. We have confidence intervals which have appeared in all but one of the last 11 papers. We have sample mean which doesn't usually come up in isolation. It's more of an application to the harder concepts like Z tests. Then finally we have unbiased estimates. If it's anything to go by, last year in October we had zero unbiased estimates questions but since then they have appeared in every single paper. To be fair though, it's not a difficult concept. You just need to know the formula for unbiased population mean and the formula for unbiased population variance and it's given in your MF19. So you just need to know that it's there and you need to be able to apply it when needed. In this topic I'd say look out for the confidence interval question because it's the most popular question in stats too and polish up on your understanding of the sample mean and the central limit theorem. If you struggle with these two concepts, you're definitely going to struggle with your hypothesis tests. Finally, we have the hypothesis test topic itself. Here we've got our normal distribution tests or Z tests and our discrete distribution tests which can be binomial or Poisson. We also have their respective type 1 and type 2 errors. Now in every paper Cambridge strives to bring in one Z test and one discrete test. So for the Z test there's no surprises, it's definitely coming with a minimum of about 5 marks and for its errors just make sure you're comfortable with this type 2 error question. I don't think it comes but if it does it can be a tricky one to deal with. As for the discrete test, my prediction is that we get a Poisson test. Though in all fairness, the method for carrying out a Poisson test and a binomial test is pretty much the same. And also just make sure to polish up on your type 1 and type 2 errors for discrete tests. Just to summarize everything, I'll list down all the questions that I think you should give more attention to because they have a high likelihood of coming. So the list is as follows. Poisson probabilities, Poisson approximation to the binomial distribution, normal approximation to the Poisson distribution, your textbook linear combinations of random variables, the PDF diagram question for continuous random variables, the mean and variance question for continuous random variables, your confidence intervals, your Z tests and your Poisson tests. It's virtually the whole syllabus 
but there's not a lot of depth and stats to you so it won't take you too much time to go through everything but anyways if you want the guest paper it's available on my website and again it comes with a cambridge style marking scheme because it is the exam before the exam so make sure to get yourself a guest paper if you want an unfair advantage going into the october series for schools who are interested in using our guest papers or would like us to create their mock papers feel free to fill in the form on our website and we will assist you by the way you can use the discount code smile student guest paper to get 50 percent off on all your guest papers i wish you all the best in your exams bye bye